Hey guys, Joker88 here. Today we are at Smart. Smart. And today we're going to be talking about smart car. So I have my buddy with me. We're going to be talking about his smart car and we're going to check out some smart that's inside there. Guys, also, don't forget, check the uh, link below because what I'm going to do is we're going to have a contest today. And what's going to happen is the winner is going to get an Elio sticker courtesy of Elio Motors. They want to send me a bunch of these. We're going to raffle off this one for this week. I'm going to put up the questions sometime in the video. Go ahead and answer on my email, which is going to be right down here. And the first one to actually reply with the correct answer, hey, you get the sticker for this week. All right, so let's go look at the smart. Recently, I, I posted up a video, I guess, kind of comparing the um, the Polaris slingshot. Well, it wasn't supposed to be a comparison. What I was talking about was another three-wheel vehicle that's out in the market, and that's the one. And I know they're totally opposite poles because that's for fun. It's got that four-liter in, uh, four-cylinder engine in it, so. I know it's different, so today at Smart, which is something a little bit more closer to Elio because we have uh, higher uh, miles per gallon and also the cost is not that much. So let's check out what they have here at Smart. And again, I have my buddy Brian here today. He's the one that's gonna be showing us his Smart in a few minutes and maybe he'll give us a ride in it. So it's a fairly small car. Got drums in the back and it's got the uh, the uh, caliper disc brakes in the front. And this is a two seating car side by side where the Elio is a tandem. And let's look inside. So it's got uh, no leather, right? No leather on this. This one's an automatic and it's got that. So it's pretty basic what's in here. Right, and this car is at 14650 and this is a brand new model. I think this is a 2016. So let's look at the specs of the motor. It's actually the same liter uh, as the Elio engine. It has a 0.9 liter, but this one is a turbocharged engine. And I know that Elio did um, IAV, the ones that designed the motors for Elio actually left that port open to add that turbo so we can get that and this one actually has more horsepower than than the elio because the elio is looking at uh, we're looking at 50 plus horsepower where you see here the smart for two has 89 horsepower i was fine when you held my hand i was fine when you pulled me down you said the stars would answer you said our prayers were written down i was fine when you pulled me in you were forced to be on this month. You know, I haven't looked recently. When I was looking to buy mine, um, they were about nine, ten thousand. Can you find one for like uh, seven thousand? You could probably find one of the higher mileage ones, one of the earlier ones. These, I mean, this car has been around looking exactly like this since two th since it was first imported back in two thousand seven, maybe. Where's the car built? France. This is a French company. Oh, well, Smart is a, it was originally a conglomeration of Swatch, the company, the, the guy who made Swatch watches, yeah. and Mercedes. And Smart stands for Swatch Mercedes Art because oh, it was yeah. a little art concept car with the removable door panels. Like Swatches had those removable bands and everything and casings. All right, so we're here in. Get the guns ready. We're here in Brian's car, the Smart car. So it's pretty hot here in. Cali right now. So the question was, since this is such a small cabin, how long does it take to cool your car down? So let's try that right now. Just started the car probably like 30 seconds ago, and it's starting to feel a little cool. So Brian, how many miles per gallon does this car get? Uh, cruising around town, I can pretty much 
much guarantee the upper 30s, 37, 38, 39. Yeah. Uh, I like to drive spirited. Um, on a good trip, if I'm just cruising along, I can get a little over 40 and almost die. What a douchebag. So it just depends on the driving. Now with what just happened right now, like, do you feel safe in this car? Absolutely. But you know, I drive a motorcycle and I feel safe on that as well. So people I've driven around sometimes feel a little odd in the beginning, but I think, you know, once you're in it, it feels just like a normal car. You know, you're sitting next to the person. So what's the spec on the engine on this? Is it the same as the current models? No, this is a, a one liter. Oh. And it's 70 horsepower and naturally aspirated, no turbos. Um, so it, I don't remember the torque number, but it's, it's fine. It's not, you, you don't buy this car to go super fast, but it is enjoyable to drive. You're, how tall are you? You're over six feet, aren't you? I'm a little over six two. All right, so you're six two, and I'm, I'm at five six, let's say. <laughs> and as you can see the headroom that I got on this car, that's pretty awesome. Right, it's a lot, a lot of movements, and for how small the car is, there is actually a lot of room in this car. Uh, I don't feel constricted at all. So, and Brian's a lot taller than I am, as you can see, his head, it's not even touching the, the roof. Is the roof is awesome. in the fall. Maybe we'll get him get an Elio once he's mine. You never can <laughs> tell. So I am looking for an electric. Well, they'll have an electric model someday. So. Or the R8 that's at that Audi dealer right there. Um, I want to thank Brian for letting us uh, check out his car and getting a ride in it and getting the specs and getting the feedback from someone who has a car that is, I think, more similar to the ethos of uh, Elio where you have your two-seater, very basic, but you know, you can then upgrade it like uh, from the models I've seen out there. There's some that has like the sat nav and all the digital things. So all the creature comfort, all the other things you can get for it. So again, our numbers are up again, guys, in our reservation counts. We're at 55,488 compared to last week. And I'll put the numbers up. Second, Our plant manager, Doug Frick, showed us a tour of the plant. And again, I'm gonna give you guys the link in the bottom for the entire video. And there's also an extended cut that actually has more information. Finally, the third news is that Paul Elio did an online conference on the virtual investor conferences where he just talks about the cars. There's a PowerPoint presentation that he had. He kind of just went through what the plans are for Elio. And again, I'll put the link in the bottom to watch the presentation and I actually joined that. So. All right guys, that is it for this week. 
thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing again if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and also to like our videos and share them so that we can spread the word of helio to everybody and don't forget guys to enter and win that sticker talk to you guys later see you next week bye